But that right there, right there, is a very, very, very small fry of tilapia. So this is the one exactly that I was trying to get, and you know, patient is key right here. And look at that freaking fish. That is a crazy, stunning little calico tilapia right there. Oh my God, he is hungry. Get the fish, get the fish, get the fish. Oh my God, check this out. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Ganem Ranch. Today you guys, Kenya and I, well Kenya needs to get in the frame. So Kenya, get over here. What's going on? We got a surprise for them all today, don't we? We have something in store for you all that it is what we've been working on for a real, real long time. And you guys know what it is. It's the aquaponics system area that we have. But Kenya has been taking care of this spot like really, really good. And it has completely taken off. I'm going to show you this over here. And this is probably the biggest bait feeder tanks, tubs, things on YouTube. So let's go over there and I'm gonna show you what's going on. So this is the pellet that I've been feeding these guys. It's a cheaper brand, it's Marina Game Fish Chow. It's for uh, growth and, what's that word, Kenya? Bigger? You know what that means? Strong. If that's what it means, put it down in the comments if I'm right or wrong. Was Kenya right or wrong? I'm not too sure. But this has all the supplement. It's everything that they be in there. It's half floating, half sinking, and it's pristine and perfect for these fish. They're really, really liking it, and they it's, it's showing. They're blowing up, they're doing good, and um, we're gonna go show you how they're doing. There are babies absolutely ever. Actually, let me go get this net over here. Ah, this thing right here was an $80 net. It's a, it's a nice net. And uh, this thing right here works real well. We're gonna show you all the tilapia that's been showing, breeding, producing, it's insane. So Kenya, go show them what you got. All right, so here we are, and this is what we have going on over here. I'm telling you right now, you guys, there are a ton of fish going on breeding inside of here. So, uh, can you get these guys going over here? I'm gonna grab my little minnow net, and I'm gonna show you some of the babies that are over here. When do they all come? You guys are probably like, yeah, yeah you're probably lying to me, but, whoa, there we go. There they come. Yeah. They're gonna start coming. They're all gonna be everywhere. But their babies are from every single size, which is crazy, and the cool thing the is about it. The babies are there, they're just dark. Oh yeah, here we go. No, seriously, I, I, I... Oh my goodness, we saw that one? That one right there was an easy, probably an eight inch tilapia. All right, so we're gonna put a little scoop inside of here, very, very slowly, and see what we could get, and show you guys some of the breeding stock that's inside of here. So here we go. And we got absolutely nothing. We got, we got this little guy right here, but we didn't put that little guy in here that size, I'll tell you that much, so that's a good little start. We'll throw him back in there. Did we get anything? All right, we got a little tilapia. Look at that little fingerling dress there. Look at that little guy. That's normal, normal tilapia, normal little blue tilapia, but there's a ton of pink ones in here as well. But this whole thing is doing really, really well. This is a container system set up to be feeding to our arapaimas and to be feeding to our small called Asian otter, Oliver. But we're gonna show you more of the containers that we have over here that have a ton of fish. But before we feed that one, Kenya, let's actually put the, uh, the net inside of the tub to see if we can get more to show how many are actually in there. Cause that was a horrible uh, example of what the heck we have in here. And if that doesn't work, we'll get the fishing rod. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at this, you guys. That's a nice one right there. That's a nice breeder tilapia. Let's see if this one is male or female. That right there is a girl. We have two little holes right there. One for the eggs and one for the, the poop. Here we go. So that's a good breeder, like I just said. She could probably have a couple hundred fish without a problem. Gorgeous fish, and back in she goes. So Kenya said these guys are already out over here. So we always snake check the hunting. fish. What happened? Snake is hunting. No, he's not. For real? Let's go check it out. Why that? Is he hunting? Is he hunting? Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. You guys, if we get this on video, this is a plan. Again, you guys think my video is a plan. Oh my God, he is hunting. Get the fish. He has a fish. He has a fish. He has a fish. Oh my God, check this out, check this out. This guy has a full on fish in his mouth right now. He is taking them down. He does this once a week now. He is killing this fish apart right now. Check this thing out, look at my mom's face, look at my mom's face, look at my mom's face. 
He's about to swallow that thing whole. Now that is dope. Okay, I your yeah, you gotta eat too. Let him let him get him out of the water. Where's he at? He's in the water. He's gonna come out. Now. He's over Give it a second. Uh oh. Uh oh. There he is. There he is. Oh, he dropped the fish. He lost the fish. Oh, uh, he killed it though. No, I don't think so. That right there is a nice brown water snake. Yeah. Hey, you guys. What's the goose called? Put it down in the comments. That right there is called the Cape Baron goose named oh, Missy. Missy. Now that was dope. Oh my god. That is crazy. Crazy. Live action. Check it out. Check it out. Watch all the little fry. A lot of little fry down here. I don't know if you guys are able to see them or not, but they're, they're, oh, they're swimming really fast away from the current. Cause if not, they fall down into the big tub down over here. And that's where there's just a crap ton of fish. So what we're actually gonna start doing is collecting the fish from the bottom over here and bringing the big ones back up so that any of the babies, when they go through the filter system or through the pipes, they fall down over there and they breed and they bring them back up. And then eventually after about a full year and it's been just about a full year, and this process has been working really, really well. The fish, once they're about yay big, we're gonna scoop them, collect them, and use them, and process them, and they're gonna get fed, like I said, for the arapaima and for the uh, for Oliver. So then we have our own grown natural food right here, which is really, really cool. I don't know if you guys have seen the pellets. Well, you guys see those guys, but there is a ton of little fish right there. And you guys can't see, but all in the back and all around, there are just tons of baby fish. Now. I'm gonna have you guys come over here and Kenya's gonna throw food for you guys and you're gonna see all the fish that we have over here as well. So check it out. Go ahead, Kenya. Like Go ahead. The snake is hunting. The snake yeah. is hunting again? Like Tell the pellet over there. Tell the pellet over there. That snake is hunting. Hunting, hunting. I think he grabbed too big of a fish is what it was. Look, he's coming. I don't know if he's coming from my foot or not. That one right there. Check this out, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that right there, right there, is a very, very, very small fry of tilapia. Throw that back back in, because that's what starts everything. Now we're gonna place them right here to get a better look. Check it out. If you guys can see that, let me grab that one. That one right there. Oh, we just dropped him. Hold on, we got another one. We got another one. We got another one. Check it out. These guys right here are probably just about a week to two, a couple weeks old. If that, maybe that one's a week old. And the smaller one to my right hand is probably a couple days old. But with Kenya feeding these guys so, so good every day. They are exploding in size and weight and everything, looking really, really well. I mean, look how small that little guy is. But like I was explaining earlier, hundreds of these guys are breeding here, which is really, really well. And this is probably one of the best baits that are growing here. Because as you guys know, many, many people in the monster fish world do feed a lot of tilapia to your fish. But when you have the whole fish right here and it's growing from your own backyard and you know what you're feeding and everything, that makes it that much better and a lot better for your fish to live life and just grow really, really well. But they're doing really, really good inside of here. That snake is still hunting everywhere. But I mean, these fish are, let me see if I can grab some more little fish for you guys. Wanna look inside this net right here? Oh yeah, check it out, check it out, check it out. Look, 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 look. Can you guys see that? I don't wanna hurt the other ones that are there. But look at that. Oh my god, I have. Oh my god, don't move your foot. Let's see if we can save him. I don't know how I just did that, you guys. What I just did. <laughs> Look at that thing. I think it's so small, the size of my finger. Alright, little buddy, there you go. Go ahead. But that is really, really cool. All the fish are doing well. Uh, Kenya's just. What do you do, Kenya? About a cup of container full of food every day? Cup full of food for all the tanks. All the tanks, huh? She says she's a country girl now. All right, but other than that, uh, something that we do need to do actually is take out some of the fish and throw them in other containers. Um, wow, we messed up all these lilies right here. Let me pull these back out and flip them back over because they were supposed to be floating up. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Grab this. 
net. See if I can grab one for you guys real quick. You know what I grabbed? I gotta fell it. Let's go back a little bit and get a better uh, example on that one one more time for you guys. Look at that. Nice, gorgeous little tilapia fingerling right there. Very, very small. Ton of them in here. Every size, every age, every color, everything that's in here. The bright ones we keep because they're easier to see. The darker ones, we're going to use those for food. We're able to sort through different things inside of here for different uh, reasons. But like I was saying earlier, we have to have some more over there. So what we're going to do right now is probably put the rod over there and try to catch one or two more bigger tilapias up in the other pond and throw them over there. We got a little ball of food right there, and that's the food that we were using earlier to feed. And what we're going to do is drop that right to get there. Oh my God, they jump out of the water. All right, hold on, hold on. We gotta get one of these tilapias out and we're gonna use these as new breeders because there are a lot of them inside of here. Watch out, Ducky. We don't want to hook you now. There's a big one right now. Yeah, right? Got him. There we go. That's the one exactly that we wanted right there. And look at that fish. That is a beautiful tilapia right there. And he's gonna get placed inside of that container we were just talking about. Now let's see if it's male and female. We're hoping it's a female because we need more females in there because they can hold a crap ton of, woo, that thorn, that little thing he got me right there. A crap ton of babies. Check it out. That is a girl right there. Gorgeous breeder right there. Gorgeous tilapia. So let's go place her inside that container so we can keep the process going. Because the crazy thing is, is there's one adult pair in there. We're gonna give the little shout out real quick to Joey Slam because he was the one that got me that pair of tilapia and they have produced hundreds if not thousands of tilapias like this one right here and like i was saying earlier see that's the poop hole and that's the egg hole because it's showing you nice uh nice dookie right there so let's go drop that guy over there and see if we can grab a couple more out of here and take the population down inside here just a tad actually let's grab a container i have a but cassandra all right so we have this little container let's try to get a couple of them in here there you go no good thanks buddy the duck? Yo, 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 can you relax for two minutes, bro? We're gonna get you more friends in a minute. <laughs> All right, so I guess he doesn't want to stay in the container. So let's go drop him off. Go put him in that container we were talking about. So this is just about the size that we're actually gonna be using to uh, save and feed to our air primal because this right here, unfortunately, I know it's gonna sound mean, but we can cut this in half once they're frozen and we can feed them whole and without losing anything, maybe take off the spike so the air pound doesn't get hurt on the throat. Uh, the snake is still here, but we're not going to feed the snake this. And this was the container we were talking about. So we're going to add her right inside there. Perfect. So now let's try to get three more. And that right there will make hundreds of tilapias, even more inside of this container, which is really cool. We just got another one. We got a nice, uh, I think, boy. So that's actually perfect. So now we have a pair lined up for the one that we just caught a couple seconds ago. Get a couple more. Look at that, nice fish right there. Stay right there, buddy, don't jump out of the water. Yeah, you know, just casual fishing in our own backyard, pretty cool. Nice little piece right there, just enough so that the, the tilapia could just grab it and you just pull it right up real quickly. So let's see what goes on, gonna get a couple more. Ready, ready, ready? Oh my God, they are freaking savages. They took that thing off in a second. So the water's a little murky right now because the capybara just got out and the ducks just did a whole freaking bath time in here. But in less than a half an hour, crystal clear once more. This pond is awesome. So this is the one exactly that I was trying to get and you know, patient is key right here. And look at that freaking fish. That is a crazy stunning little calico tilapia right there. We're gonna go place him inside of the perfect nice hook set too. I mean, look at that. What is this right here? That is a nice girl, giant breeder female. Let's go add that guy inside of there. We have our nice male. I mean, look at that fish. Look at them all flared up. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. So this will probably be the size that we would use to feed. Calm down there, buddy. All right, so we're gonna go place that guy in there. We only are keeping in here, um, prize tilapia that's it that's what i'm gonna start calling it prize tilapia because there's some in here that are crazy looking tilapia in here and um like this one is nice but there's some in here that are really really nice and those are the ones i want to keep 
Come here. Let's see if you can lift this little guy. Look at that. Nice little tilapia. Let's go place that guy in the pond. Stay, buddy. Stay there. All right, let's go place that guy in there. Kenya, those are going to go inside that tank we were talking about. So we have a boy and two girls in there. So I'll give it just about... Whoa! I'll give it just about three weeks. And we will have a ton of babies inside of here. All right. So here we go. Whoa! You stay there, buddy. Kenya, there's a fish on the floor over there. Can you grab him? The male's a crazy lunatic. Well, you have a net in your hand. Yeah, change the colors instantly. Place them right in. Go ahead, buddy. Um, no, Blake, he's on the plant. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, cool. And then we got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? He's stabbing me everywhere. Perfect fish right there. This will still be a perfect breeder, even though falling three times. Give him a little kiss. He dropped. You don't want to kiss that thing because my hands are nasty. All righty. Snake is still there hunting. He's doing his thing. But um, I think that was a pretty dope little video, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at the ranch. Doing our craziness of breeding fish, raising up fish, and having all the fish here on the ranch so we can use them. And now in the future for processing, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Let's hit 5,000 likes because I know that's 100% possible. And I will see you guys all later. Peace out, everyone.